Now, what if I told you there's sort of a secret less talked about, not as popular, seven plus percent yielding single dividend stock that I personally been holding on to and buying for several years now and getting paid a boatload of income from, but a lot of dividend investors seem to look past it. This single dividend stock not only, like I said, offers an initial 7% plus starting yield, but also has some decent dividend growth historically and has grown in share price significantly since I started buying. Well, stick around because we're going to go through this single stock and I'm going to share with you guys why I think it's undercover and why I think it doesn't necessarily get all the praise it deserves. So if you want to dig into this with me, make sure to stick around, drop a like down below and let's get right into it. Real quick for those that haven't already, make sure to go to the first link in my description and grab my new dividend investing ebook where I share exactly how I went from $0 invested to now earning over $6,000 on a monthly basis and over $1 million invested in the market. Along with the ebook, you're also going to receive my custom dividend tracker where you can track your dividend progress on an ongoing basis and reach your dividend investing goals. So make sure to grab yourself a copy of my dividend investing ebook and the new dividend tracker today. It's the first link in my description. So some of you guys might have guessed at the single stock that I'm talking about that yields north of 7% starting, which is crazy considering a lot of the market is pretty frothy right now. And one of my favorites is ticker symbol EPD Enterprise Product Partners, which is an energy stock in the oil and gas storage and transportation space. Now, for those of you guys that aren't really all that familiar with EPD, let's go through some of the basics. This is on simplysafedividends.com. It says since its creation in 1968 as a simple wholesale marketer of natural gas liquids, NGLs, Enterprise Product Partners has grown into one of America's largest midstream master limited partnerships or MLPs that services both producers and consumers of NGLs, natural gas, crude oil, refined products, and petrochemicals. The MLP service includes everything needed to get raw fossil fuels from the producer's wellhead to the end consumer ready to use state, more specifically the process into gathering, treating, processing, storage, and transportation. So EPD basically does it all. Now, EPD is a single stock that I came across years ago when I first started investing, and I personally was buying EPD at much, much lower prices than it's trading as of currently. But even to this day, I still grab a futures EPD here and there. I currently, across my portfolios, have around 750 shares of this one, so it's honestly not really a small position in my portfolio. But again, even though this single stock has a good performance, a good track record, there's not necessarily all that many dividend investors that talk about it. Now, it is a limited partnership, so you are going to have to utilize K-1s when it comes to tax season, which is kind of annoying, but honestly, I haven't really had all the many issues with it. But some investors do hate K-1s, and that's understandable. But to dig a little bit deeper into EPD on the max time frame since around 1988, this single stock is up around 446%, which is massive. Not to mention year to date, it's up around 11%, and in the one year, it's up around 10%. Now, since I started buying EPD over the last five or so years, it's basically traded flat, although luckily I was able to grab a ton of shares after the 2020 crash, which is how I personally have a relatively low cost basis. But basically ever since 2020, EPD has been trading up and is trading pretty much back to the levels before the major drop in 2020. Now, EPD, like I said, offers a massive, massive starting dividend. And this might be important to some investors, maybe some more than others. To me personally, I am looking to build out a portfolio that not only is going to grow over time, but pay me a boatload of cash flow consistently. So higher yielders, especially high quality higher yielders, are definitely something I never look past. So even with EPD's current price, which is much, much higher than it's been historically, at least over the last five or so years, it's offering still around a 7.23% forward dividend with 25 years of dividend growth. Now, to give you an idea of what EPD's dividend growth has looked like historically since I started buying it, I was getting paid around 43, 44 cents on a quarterly basis. And now, as of recently, we're talking 53 cents plus, which of course isn't the fastest dividend growth across the entire market by any means, but still with a single stock that's offering north of a 7%, 8% yield, any dividend growth on top of that definitely adds up. So if EPD so far looks pretty decent to you, if the dividend yield is enticing, and if the growth potential also seems like something you want exposure to, the next question of course is, is EPD too expensive to buy right now? Is it a good deal? Well, let's look at stock analysis and see what they say. So it says right here in stock price forecast, the 11 analysts with a 12 month price forecast for EPD stock have an average target of $33.73 with a low estimate of 31 and a high of 37. So this average predicts an increase of 15, 16% from the current price in the low 29s. So across the board, everyone basically thinks that EPD is going to be slow and steadily moving up into the right with share price. But let's be real here, not to mention the fact that this single stock offers around 52 and a half cents per share per quarter for every single share of this one that you have. So even if EPD trades mostly sideways and pays me a 7 or 8% yield, honestly, I'm not too bummed about it. But the reality is that a lot of the analysts think EPD will move up into the right because of the oil situation and because of the massive demand for what EPD does. 
But speaking of the distribution, it says right here also on Simply Safe Dividends to maintain a reliable distribution. Enterprise has had to navigate a number of extreme commodity price cycles over time. This has been possible thanks to the firm's business model, which is less sensitive to oil and gas prices than one might initially think. So you might think because of EPD's industry, that's if crude's up, if crude's down, it's going to whipsaw the stock back and forth, but that's just not the case. Most of enterprise's cash flow is predicted by long-term fixed fee contracts with a minimum value guarantees and annual rate escalators to offset inflation. Many of its contracts also guarantee a minimum gross margin, which helps to stabilize cash flows further, even if energy prices fall, as long as customers can still pay. It also says Enterprise's risk profile is further strengthened by the firm's financial conservatism. In addition to its A- credit rating, one of the highest ratings in the midstream industry, the business implemented a self-funding business model back in 2018. It says under this structure, Enterprise does not need to issue equity to help fund its expansion projects. Instead, Enterprise uses a mix of internally generated cash flow and debt, reducing its financing risk and lowering its cost of capital. Now, the reason I say a lot of dividend investors sort of sleep on this one is that if you look at EPD's historical performance over the last 26, 27 years, a $10,000 investment into this one with dividends being reinvested along the way has returned investors around 3,000% total return or around 14% on average every single year. Now, sure, there's other stocks and ETFs that might return more than 13, 14% on average per year, but by getting exposure to a single stock that offers a north of a 7% initial dividend yield, that might be advantageous to some investors out there. I know for a fact, and especially with the track record and performance of EPD over time, this is definitely a single stock to look into. So now that we dug into one of my favorite single stocks that are offering a north of 7% starting yield, and I talked about the fact that this single stock, in my opinion, is sort of secret and or not talked about as much, I also shared that I have 750 shares of it as of right now. I lastly want to hear from you guys down below when it comes to enterprise product partners or ticker symbol EPD. Is this single stock inside your portfolio? Would you buy it? Would you not? Let us know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to please drop a like and subscribe for more future content like this. Thanks as always for stopping by and if you are interested in investing, make sure to check out these recent videos I posted right here.